Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a get ready with me and trying out a bunch of new products. I have the new Estee Lauder eyeshadow palette. Doesn't this look beautiful? I have the new Jouer powder. I have the new Tom Ford concealer. I've got new mascara. I've got new lips. I've got new blush. I've got the new, let me reach for it, the Marc Jacobs highlighter. I have just a lot of new new in here. So if you guys want to see how these products performed, what I liked, what I didn't like, and uh, just, yeah, just, you know the drill. Just keep watching. I already have my foundation on. I didn't have a new one, so I just put on one of my favorites. This is the Tarte Face Tape. And then I've got one brow done. We will do the other one on camera. But first, I want to finish off part of my base. So I have a brand new concealer. This is from Tom Ford, and it is the Emotion Proof Concealer. I have the shade number two, Buff. And I have not used this before, so I'm kind of excited. Ooh, I wonder if it's going to be too light. Uh, it's a very interesting little wand on there. Probably doesn't help. It's real flat. We'll see how this works. Yeah, I feel like I probably should have gone up a shade. And then I'm going to blend this out with my Linda Hallberg sponge. The texture of this, or I guess the consistency, is pretty thin see so I'm not a fan of this color I don't like this color underneath my eyes so I'm just gonna have to base it off of what it looks like in the end but this is just too light for me it almost looks a little bit gray it might not on camera but in person I'm not a fan of this color so if I like this concealer I will probably exchange it for a different shade it's hard to pick out shades online though. It is so hard. This is what the concealer looks like before I powder it. I am going to go ahead and bake, but I wanted you guys to see what it looked like in case you're somebody who does not powder it. So it's about medium coverage. I can definitely see, you know, my little freckle coming through right here real easily, a little sun damage coming through right there real easily. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and set this and then we're going to move on to the brow. I'm going to go in with my tried and true. I don't like to use a new powder under the eyes if I am using a new concealer, so I don't want to add too many variables in. So this is just the Huda Beauty powder. I'm using the shade Pound Cake, but I do have a new powder for the rest of my face. But I want to get this brow done first. Now let's move on to doing this brow. I was sent over some new products from NYX Cosmetics, and this is the Fill and Fluff Eyebrow Pomade Pencil. There's several different shades, but I've already picked out mine. I'm gonna use the shade Brunette, and this is different from anything I have personally seen before. On one end, you have the this type of shape. It's like that teardrop shape, and it's a really creamy kind of texture. And then on the other end, you don't get a spoolie, you get like this brush. It's almost like a mini artiste brush. And I mean, you can definitely push your brows up with it. I would prefer to use a spoolie to do that. So I am going to go ahead, brush my little hairs up. I'm going to zoom you guys in and I will do this brow. So I'm just going to go in little strokes like so. I'm just brushing or pushing the product in the same way that my hairs naturally grow. I go ahead and blend. So you take the other side and you can blend the product into your hairs, which is really nice because it softens it up. I feel like I need a mirror to do this opposite end. I'm gonna brush these little hairs down. Take the product and go down. And then of course I am gonna go through with my brow gel. This is the 24 hour brow setter. And then I'm gonna clean up right underneath all of this with my concealer and then any area 
that I feel like I need a little more product, I will add afterwards, but I'll be right back. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and set right underneath and my lid with Blanc Type from MAC. And I did have to add a little bit right to this section right here because I couldn't see. It's so hard for me to do my brows from this far away. I am usually smack up against the camera, not the camera, the mirror whenever I am doing my brows. So, but this is the finished brows. I think they turned out pretty well. To set the rest of my face, I have a brand new powder from Jouer. This is the Soft Focus Hydrate and Set Powder, and I have the shade Light Claire. And this is what it looks like. I have not touched this yet, so it has like the little embossing in there. I'm a little bit concerned about this shade, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like it's probably gonna be a little bit too dark, so we will find out. And I'm gonna go in with the It Cosmetics for Ulta brush. I don't even know what number you are. I still don't know how I feel about this. I bought this pretty recently, and yeah, this is darkening my foundation. This is gonna be good for the summertime but I'm gonna have to put like bronzer on my shoulders and stuff because this is, I don't know if you guys can tell, but like this side is darker than this one. But it is, it's going on nicely. Anyway, about this brush. I'm not sure if this is something like is, if IT Cosmetics brushes for Ulta are different than the just regular IT Cosmetics, but I bought this during the sale, you know, they're, they're 21 days of whatever. So I go, I want, I want to get that brush. And I bought it, and I'm glad I didn't pay full price for it, for sure, because I think the full price is 36 Um, But I just haven't really made my mind up about it Yeah, My face is a, a lot darker then my neck and my shoulders so we're gonna bronze <laughs> up <laughs> those areas it's okay though we'll just be a bronze goddess today i'm kind of irritated because i have a product <laughs> uh, i have a product that i only want to use in tomorrow's video but i'm gonna have to use one of them today because i ordered a dior bronzer but it's not here yet it's not going to be here i think for two more days and i didn't really want to wait for the video so uh i am going to cheat a little bit and use one of my cover x products today and then do the full review tomorrow with the other two you'll see what i'm talking about if you're like what is going on what are you talking about You'll see. Wayne Goss 02 to buff underneath my eyes, and then I'm going to assess the situation we've got. I am impressed with the powder. This looks really nice. It's smooth. It's a little dark, but it's still smooth. Yeah, but my under eyes. I'm not sure about those yet. And now for the Cover FX product I didn't want to use today. <laughs> these look like little soaps. <laughs> I gave in and totally bought these early before the sale. And I think it was going to be helpful for you guys to know whether or not you should buy them during the VIB sale for Sephora. So I have two of the blushes. We are not using these today. I'm using them tomorrow. So I'm not even going to show them to you. Yes, I know what I mean. But I'm going to go in with the Monochromatic Bronzer Duo Matte Plus Shimmer. And this is Sun Kissed Bronze. And this is what it looks like. So because Dior is not here, we're going to try this guy out. <laughs> see how dark I can make my face because this is a little on the dark side, but we'll see how it blends out. I feel like this is a safe option. This is the BOM 36. Let me get some on my brush, tap off the excess. Oh, okay. She doesn't go on too dark. Okay, okay, I was a little scared. I was a little scared, that's not too bad. That's actually really nice. I just tap into it one time and then start blending it out because it's pigmented. Which is a good thing as long as it blends out and it is. I don't want to go too, like I hate it when I accidentally go too dark with a new bronzer. So I like to go a little lighter handed. Because <laughs> I can go too dark sometimes. I look back at my video, I'm like, Mel, what did you just do? Let me bronze up this shoulder so that I look like I match. 
give me next like next month and I'll be this dark. <laughs> I'm using my By Terry powder, dual expert powder number four for my nose because <laughs> I think I did go ham with the bronzer. Ugh, I tried not to, but anyway, it, it's also a little too warm for my nose. So I'm using this on my nose, number 11 from Tom Ford. Linda Hallberg 303 in the center shade to highlight the nose just a little bit. I am not going to use this shade over here because like I said, tomorrow we are gonna be talking about all three of those. So I wanna leave that as like a surprise for tomorrow. So this is what the bronzer looks like. I think I went a little too dark on my forehead, but it blended out nicely and everything. So we're gonna go ahead and add some blush. And this is new to me, at least from Stilazzi. They sent me over a bunch of goodies. I am so excited because I met them and the particular lady that reached out to me at IMATS where I bought Sending Nudes and I think Get Fizzy. I love Sending Nudes and they reached out to me to send me some things and they sent me all the things. So I have two blush palettes here. Bahamas, this one, which is the one I think I'm going to use. And then a darker one, this is Barbados right here. So yes, I am gonna go in with Bahamas blush palette. And you know what? I'm gonna go for the peachy tone right here. Refer 05. Knock some of that off. I think my brush is still a little wet because I washed it last night. Yeah, I feel like, I love this brush, but I feel like it's a little wet. Hold on. I'm going to switch over to my Esum X52. This is not, ooh, that grabbed a lot. Okay. There we go. Okay. I was a little scared. I just didn't want to mess up my makeup with that brush being slightly damp. Like, I just felt like a little bit of coolness on my face. I was like, ooh, you're not all the way dry. So... Yeah, this is a beautiful color. Now for some fun. I have been using this. I have already formed an opinion on this. <laughs> I love the box. If the packaging was like this, I would have been dead. I would have bought two. <laughs> but this is from Marc Jacobs. It's the new runway bronzer worth the wait. It's the Omega Glaze. I'll wait for it. This is it right here. So we have a nice little gold shift in here. The last bronzer was too dark for me. So yeah, I, I, that's gone. This right here is beautiful, but you have got to be careful. Do not layer this thing up because if you layer it, it gets a little cakey, just like the last one. Like I had an issue not only did it cake up on me, but it also was too dark, so it was just a hot mess all over. But this one is light enough for me. It actually looks good. And I just have to be really careful because sometimes I like to, you know, go ham with my highlight. And if I do that with this bronzer, oh my goodness, it just, it looks like you could take your fingernails and scrape it off of your face, whether you have a lot of foundation on underneath it or not. So just be careful. But it is so beautiful. And you really can get it to be extremely blingy without it being cakey. Again, you just have to be careful. And I'm just, I'm not gonna go to that length today. And I'm using this brush specifically because I can blend it out really easily. If I use my favorite Linda Hallberg brush with this, it really applies it and it's, uh, yeah, it, it's on there. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little bit of this on my nose. And what I love about this is when I buff with this particular um, shade and formula, everything, it just looks so beautiful. But I do like to take my blush brush, a little bit more of the blush and mix them together because I feel like it kind of melts the two a little bit more, especially with this formula. And then I feel like it looks just a little bit less 
I don't know, unnatural. I mean, I know it's a blingy highlight, but I don't know if I'm coming. I can't talk. I'm just excited about makeup. Leave me alone. No new powders for buffing. I'm going to use my Sicily powder because, yeah, I'm almost out of it. So I'm just going to try and finish this guy off. And I've already bought a new one because I love this stuff. And a Sonia G Sculpt 2. And just buff. And this helps so much to bring everything I put down on my face, especially when I have too much bronzer on. It just takes it down and makes me all nice and smooth. Again, it just blends everything together. And if you notice, I kind of avoid my pore area whenever I'm using my buffing powder that is radiant. I will go in with another one. I'm going to show you that real quick. By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Powder and a Sonia, D, Sonia G Detail Brush. Knock off the excess. I'm going to go right on my pores. This will blend out the edge of the highlight and blush. And it just really smooths out that area. This does not add any kind of cakiness. It's very finely milled. I like to go over my nose a little bit, center. It's just beautiful. It can really smooth out the edge of a highlight. Because I am so guilty of getting that like that right there. Like it's like caked and this blends it out. Now I'm going to move on to my eyes. And this is from Estee Lauder. This is the Bronze Goddess Desert Heat Eyeshadow Palette. I don't think I have ever, 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 ever used any shadows from Estee Lauder. A, I love this disc packaging. Like that is so cool. I told you guys I was going to pick this up. I kind of thought it was a blush palette. Like you're going to put it on. I don't know, but this is what she looks like. And like I said, I've never used Estee Lauder shadows before. So we are going to test this out. So I'm going to zoom you guys in just a little bit. I'm going to start off with this shade right here on a Zoeva 227. Start on the outer. I have some pigment. I was not expecting that. I'll tell you that. Um, yeah, that's the pigmentation. Um, anyway, <laughs> I was going to use like the maroonish shades, but then I was thinking I just literally just did a look with the Sydney Gray shadows. So I feel like I kind of want to stay away from those, but I'd want to get as much like try out as many shades as possible. I might try out that gold. The gold might be screaming to me. I'm definitely using that shade in the center of the peach. It's really pretty. I'm pretty sure you could use that as a blush as well. I'm using this as my transition shade, bringing it all the way to the inner corner. Same shade on a Wayne Goss number 20. And I'm just running this right along the lower lash line. Still using the Zueva brush, I'm going to take this center shade. Again, I'm going to start on the outer V. That is beautiful. I'm telling you, it's so pigmented. I don't know what I was expecting. I don't think I really had expectations, but. Wow, I love these colors so far. Just like these two colors, I'm done. <laughs> I'm bringing this mainly upward right here and then about half, well, three quarters of the way in. I'm just not gonna bring it all the way to the inner corner. Esum S33 in this matte shade right here. I don't want to darken up the outer corner too much. I just want to add a little bit of depth right here. No additional product on the Zoeva 227. I'm just going to buff over that. Like I said, I just don't want it to be too dark. I want it to be nice and blended as well. Esum W21 in this little metallic shade right here. Just taking that on the center of the lid, tapping over a little bit of the last shade we put down. 
little like swiping motions, but I'm kind of pressing it into the lid. Mac 242 and the lightest shimmer. Do my brow arch first. As well as the inner portion of the lid and inner corner. Just tapping over the last shade we laid down. Nabla Cosmetics sent me over a new mascara. This is called Major Pleasure. So we are going to give this a try. This is what the component looks like. And then let's check out the wand. This is the wand. And I'm just going to go to town. Now for the finishing touch. Ciate London sent me over a whole collection of these. These are the Wonder Wand Lipstick. It is a Demi Shine lipstick. And I'm going to use this one. I have all of these. And I have swatches of all of them. So I will insert that for you guys in case you're curious about it. But have not put these on yet. I have no idea how they feel. I know they swatched really well. But I'm going to use... The shade names on the bottom of these are really hard to see. I think this one is called Wonderlust. And it's just like this. Pull it comes up. I'm just going to pop this on. I'm not going to use any liner or anything. Oh yeah. Great pigmentation right off the bat. And I did blot off. I always have my Camilla or uh, blah, 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 Tatcha Gold Spun Camilla Balm on. But I did blot that off before putting this on. And this is the finished look. I'm gonna go ahead and go through each of the products and tell you guys how I feel about them. First impression wise, I think the only thing that I've used more than once is the highlighter. Everything else is just first impressions. And I'm gonna start off with this lipstick and I'm gonna show you the swatches while I'm talking. I have to say, this feels amazing. I was really shocked whenever I was swatching. I shouldn't say shocked, but I was impressed whenever I was swatching these on my daughter last night. I was like, "Ooh, this is like one swipe pigmentation. It looks like it's not going to be too shiny or too matte or anything like that. And it is. This is like my perfect type of formula. It is in between so it's not going to dry out it doesn't feel like it's going to dry out my lips i'll let you guys know but it has a nice pigmentation to it It has a nice amount of shine without being like slippery i don't feel like i need a liner i use a lip brush if i need to perfect the edges i like the size of the bullet everything so first impression wise at least on this color and swatching them these are beautiful like really beautiful. I really enjoy this formula thus far. So now let me start from the top. The NYX Fill and Fluff Eyebrow Pomade Pencil. I think this is really nice. The only problem with me is that I have pretty thick brows as it is, so I don't tend to put a lot of product in. What I think this is going to be good for is people that do not have that much brow, like that many hairs, because it's really nice, this end, how it buffs the pomade style formula into your skin, into your hairs, and makes it look thicker and it doesn't have that really heavy pomade feel or look. This is darker than I particularly like, but that's because they are filled in more. I feel like with a bald head and it's just a lit, but it's not bad. It's just a little darker than what I'm used to. I like a little bit more fluff and a little bit more see-through, but quality wise the pencil is really nice and I would highly suggest this to anybody who has sparse brows, wants something that's going to be easy to use. I really like this end. So good product, but not one that I am personally going to reach for a ton just because of my brow preference, the style. Now for the concealer. I have done close-ups. I was looking at it. You know, I finally have come to the conclusion that I like this concealer so far, but it doesn't 
doesn't hold a candle to my Giorgio Armani. I do want to go ahead and get a different shade because I don't like this shade on me. I feel like this is just a little bit too light. So what I'm going to do is switch this one out and then I'm going to continue to try it out. It doesn't look real dry underneath my uh, underneath my skin, underneath my eyes. I just feel like more, more so probably because of the color. I feel like I have a little bit of darkness and I don't really consider myself to have like dark circles or anything. So I feel like it's a color issue, but it is smooth. It's very natural looking. It doesn't look really matte, but it doesn't have a sheen either whenever I have it set, but it didn't get cakey. So first impression, I like this. I'm not in love and I need to try a different color. Now for the Jouer powder. I think I got, the, I bought this on Beautylish. I feel like I bought it on Beautylish. I don't know if it's available at Sephora yet or not. Um, but I'm going to keep this shade because I know this will be my sun. Like it will be what I need for the summertime. It did deepen up my foundation just a little bit, but product wise, it's smooth. It does not feel dry. I am wearing a matte foundation and this powder on top of it did not make it feel dry or cakey or anything like that. I wanted to test this out on top of a matte foundation specifically because this says it was a hydrating formula and I feel like my skin feels really nice. I don't feel like anything looks cakey or anything like that. So this was a nice, is a nice product. I think if you are super dry, you might not like this, but I would say it's worth a shot. If you want a powder, just don't use too much of it. I like the texture and everything on that. And then what we have, oh, blush, blush, blush. So obviously I didn't use both of the palettes. I used the Bahamas palette and I only used one color. So my first impression on this one color is it's beautiful. I love the color. It blended out nicely. It wasn't patchy or anything like that. I think I'm gonna go for this shade next. But I like that they have an option for richer skin tones as well. This orange, I love 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 this shade on really rich complexions and a gold highlight mm, it gets me or like a pink shift gold highlight oh it's so nice okay now i have to think what did i use next i highlighted the the bp <laughs> so my only gripe with this well, i have a few actually but my biggest gripe is that i want the palette to actually look like the box because I really like the box but this is really pretty I have really been enjoying this I would give it an A minus so I say that because this formula can really build up on itself and become cakey you see how much pigment is this is one little swipe in there and that's how much pigment you get whereas you know a lot of other highlighters you build them up this one you have to be careful with especially like there's one time I like to spray my face and then go in with the highlighter when I do that with with this one it's it's cakey so I have to make sure my skin is completely dry whenever I use this I have to really buff it into the skin take my time and buff it into the skin but I love the color and everything and I love the fact that I get at the end I can wear this lightly like I feel like I have it on pretty lightly right now and I like that I can have it bumped up just a little bit if I take my time and buff it into the skin this is going to work really well on light and fair girls this one is not going to be for, I, w I don't even think tan. I, it, this one's definitely really, really light. I would go for the other one if you're interested. That color looked horrendous on me. And then along with the cakiness I got with it, it just, it was an absolute no-go. Like a shade was not for me. So I'm happy to have that one. And then I have to think of like an order. Oh, yes. This. I am so glad, <clears throat> excuse me, that... I got this despite seeing some of the swatches because I bought this after I knew I wanted it. I talked about it in a purchaser pass. I knew I wanted it, but then I was starting to see swatches and they looked really iffy, but I decided I wanted to try it out anyway. And I'm really glad I did because I really like this palette. I love the colors in here. This is like a perfect summertime palette and it's aesthetically pleasing to the eye. I know that really doesn't matter product wise, but it's aesthetically pleasing to the eye. I like to look at it. I like the shades. I need to test out this side over here and let it get back to you guys. I wouldn't say that the metallics are like 
out of this world amazing, but they are beautiful. I really, really like the eye look that I got today. I absolutely adore this shade right here. I would buy this palette for that shade alone. It's just stunning. So if you are interested in this, I, I like this a lot. I really like this a lot. And then the mascara blew me away. The Nabla Major Pleasure Mascara. Oh my gosh. Yes, this works so nicely. It builds on itself really nicely. It separates. It has volume. It has length. It has everything that I like in a mascara. So I'm really happy with this. I don't have it on my bottom lashes because yeah, I, I don't, I don't like using other mascaras on my bottom lashes, but I got length. My little lash is being a little wonky right here, but that's my lash, not the mascara. Um, so yeah, really happy with that. And then I think that was it. I think that was it. I think we've covered everything. Oh wait, no, I didn't. I didn't. The soap. <laughs> this looks like a soap bar to me. This really does. It looks like a little soap bar. So like I mentioned, I am going to cover all of the ones that I got tomorrow. So watch out for that if you're curious about them. I think this worked really well. I think I went a little bit overboard initially. <laughs> I think I calmed it down. I don't know yet. We'll see what it looks like on camera, but in person it looks nice and calmed down. <laughs> but this is going to work on my skin tone up to like a medium tan. There is another shade that I believe is darker. I don't think this is going to work well for somebody who is fair. I get it. I they missed the mark with that one. They, I think, I don't think that there's a third shade. Correct me if I am wrong, but I believe there's only two in like the bronze category. So fair skin girls, do not try this. This is going to be too dark for you. But it blended out really nicely. It had nice pigmentation. It it looked nice, and even whenever I went hand with it, I still think it looked nice. So if you want to see what this looks like together tomorrow with the other blushes that I bought. Yeah, just keep an eye out for that. But anywho, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If I forgot something, because I have done that before, let me know and I will tell you what I think down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.